Classic9.com. In this video, ay pag-aralan natin kung paano ba mag-subtract ng integers using the number line. So, kung hindi pa nyo napapanood yung mga previous videos, ay suggest na panoorin nyo, especially yung how to subtract integers using the number line. Dahil yung mga representation na kagamitin natin dito ay galing doon. Ano? So, mahirap sa inyo sundan yung video kung hindi nyo alam yung representation. Okay, so, before we move to or before we proceed to subtraction, meron mo tayong sasagot ang problem dito, no? So, uh, box plus positive 5 equals positive 2, no? Sa mga previous videos natin, alam natin na yung positive ay uh, nirepresent ng movement to the right, no? So, dito, ang positive 2 ang sagot, usually ang sagot nilalagay natin sa baba ng number line at yung pinaka-addance natin nilalagay natin sa taas, no? So, dito ang sagot natin, positive 2. We represent it with a blue line. It's a movement from 0 to 2. No? So, kung wala kang number before, sa so 0 ka magsimula. So, this is positive 2. A movement from 0 to 2. Now, sa positive 5, wala tayong problema kasi it's a movement, it's a movement uh, 5 units to the right. Ang problema natin yung itong box na ito. Ito ba ay movement to the right or movement to the left? Well, madali lang kasi kung ito ay movement to the left or kung ito ay movement to the right, pari 1, dapat mas malaki ito dito sa 5, no? Or 0.5, kunwari. So, dapat mas malaki siya dito sa 5. However, the fact na meron siyang, or the fact na mas maliit siya sa 5, ibig sabihin itong movement na to ay pakaliwa, no? So, it's a movement to the left. Okay, so since movement is sa left, pwede natin siyang i-represent as. So, hindi natin alam kung ilan yan, ano? So, it's it's uh, still unknown. Yung box na ito, hindi natin alam kung ang laman yan. Okay? Next, ang positive 5 is going to the right. So, from here, kakanan ka. Saan siya hinto? Dito sa 2, no? Kasi, this 1 plus this 1 is 2. Ibig sabihin, dito siya minto. Okay, so, this movement from here up to here. This movement is positive 5, no? Okay, so, nung nag-move ka dito ng um, an number and then you move back to the right 5 units then you go to 2 which is the answer to the problem no? so ilan yun nandito madali lang siya tignan kasi from here no? ito pantay naman ito kasi dun nga siya next stop sa 2 and then from 0 pantay naman siya dito ibig sabihin this unit here is 2 no? at meron kang natitirang 3 no? kasi 5 ito eh 5 yung buo eh May dalawa ka dito, mayroon ka tatlo dito. But if you want to represent the red la uh, or the red arrow or the red movement, papunta siya sa kaliwa. Therefore, sa kaliwa siya ng 0. Therefore, siya ay negative, negative 3. So again, we represent a movement to the left by a negative number. Okay, so anong connection ito doon sa subtraction? Kasi subtraction yung video natin. Well, this box actually, or this operation actually is uh, subtraction dahil para makuha yung box no? from your elementary school, alam yun na dapat ay ma-minus natin. No? Ano bang ipa-plus mo sa 5 para maging 2? Mina-minus natin yan. So, magiging 2 minus or positive 2 minus positive 5. Okay, so this, these statements are the same, ano? They are equivalent statements. Okay, so, try naman natin muna i-represent itong uh, subtraction na ito, no? Remember, ang goal natin is to represent the subtraction problem kasi pag na-represent natin siya dito sa number line, eh, katulad ng addition problem, masasagot natin kung ano yung, or masasagot natin yung addition or in this case, sub subtraction, no? Sa addition, nasagot natin siya using the number line. So, ngayon, pag na-represent natin ito, pwede natin sagutin yung problem. Okay, so, 
positive 2, movement to the right. So, wala tayong problema. So, this is a movement to the right. Hindi na siya sagot, ano? So, nandito siya sa movement to the right. So, this is this is positive 2. Okay? And then, negative 5. Or oh, sorry, sorry, minus 5. Ano ba yung minus positive 5? So, alam natin na yung sagot dito is negative 3, no? So, the value of the box is positive 3. So, remember, oh sorry, negative 3. Remember na yung negative 3 is nandito siya banda, no? From here. No? This is negative 3. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang susunod na arrow natin dito, kanan ba siya? Ito na yung sagot natin, di ba? Negative 3. Ibig sabihin, from here, kakaliwa ka na kasi dapat dun ka sa sagot eh. So, this is, this should be an arrow up to negative 3. Okay? So, ano tong arrow na to? Paano natin i-represent tong arrow na to? It's a movement to the left. Therefore, it's negative. Siyempre, mas mahaba naman siya sa 3 kasi from 0 to negative 3 is 3. Kaso may dalawa ka pa dito, so this is negative 5. Okay? But, no? Ang, paano natin i-represent tong equation na to? Or sorry, paano natin i-represent ng equation tong representation na to? So this is positive 2, no? positive 2 plus remember, pag nagkaroon tayo ng plus that's, this is our first movement pag nagkaroon tayo ng plus this is our second movement yun nandito and this is the second movement which is negative 5 no? equals negative 3 Okay? So, ano ano implication nito dun sa ating problem, no? Ibig sabihin, itong expression na ito at itong expression na ito ay pareho. Pareho sila ng ibig sabihin, di ba? Pareho sila ng, 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 ano, ng, ng uh, sagot. So, negative 3. So, ibig sabihin, Ibig sabihin, positive 2, huh? positive 2, minus, hindi natin tinatamaan yung tamang kulay, minus, positive 5, is equal to, positive 2, plus, negative 5. Okay? Ibig sabihin, positive A, kung i-generalize natin ito, no? positive A minus positive B or sorry, should be blue. Positive B is equal to positive A plus negative B. No? Okay. Or para mas simple, tanggalin natin yung mga positive signs kasi hindi mo talaga kailangan. So A minus b is equal to a plus negative b. Okay? So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Ano ibig sabihin ng equation na yan? Ibig sabihin, pwede natin i-convert lahat ng mga subtraction problems 
into an addition problem. No? Okay, so paano yan? Bigyan ko yung example. Ha? I'll give you one example and then yung susunod na mga example sa susunod na video na. Well, just example, just one example. What is negative 5 minus 8? Okay? So ito yung A natin, negative 5. This is A. Sorry. Negative 5 minus 8. Taasan natin yung, ano, yung negative para medyo distinguish siya dun sa minus. So this is negative 5 minus 8. So this is your A. Wala tayong mabaguhin sa A. Iba rin siya. So equals negative 5. Ang minus natin, tignan nyo yung minus natin, ginawa natin plus negative. It becomes plus negative 8. And we know from addition na pag inad natin yung dalawang negative numbers, we just add the numbers and copy what are the signs. So negative yung sign niya, ang sagot ay negative 13. This is for if the, the numbers are all negative. no. So from here, we have converted a subtraction problem into an addition problem. So later, papakita natin na pwede pala lahat dyan sa lahat ng, lahat ng cases. No? So dito lang muna tayo magtatapos at uh, abangan nyo yung susunod na video natin for more examples. Now if you want to receive uh, notifications no, every time may pinost tayo na video, you can uh, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button sa baba ng video kung kayo nanonood sa YouTube or kung nasa sipnayan.com naman kayo, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa ating email subscription box. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.